Hello everyone. So welcome in the new video. In this video, we will going to interface seven segment with STM32F103C6, which is STM32 bit series microcontroller. And you can see we are using single digit seven segment, and this seven segment is common anode seven segment. So you can see common part is connected with plus five volt, and from pin number A to G, we are using PA0 to PA6 for the connections. And you can consider this 7 segment as a 7 different single, uh, separate LEDs. And since this is common anode, so to turn on particular segment, you have to write low, 0. In case of common cathode, you have to write high, 1, right? So our aim is to design a counter which can count from 0 to 9 so on this 7 segment we will have 0 1 2 3 with some interval right and for that you have to write different values different pattern on these pins okay so without wasting time let us start writing code so first of all select the part number here you can give any name This is being out view. So you can see in our circuit, we are using these pins. So we have to set or configure them as an output. So in your software, in your STM32 cube IDE, you have to configure this PA0 as an output, PA1 as an output up to PA6, right? Okay, and now one more thing you have to give crystal. So for that select RCC. In RCC in high speed clock you have to select ceramic crystal and then simply generate the code. And you can see here we have the code main file. Now to display different digit you have to generate or write array, right? And elements of array should be different values for different digit so how to calculate this value and to learn about the print, uh, characteristic or you can say uh, how seven segment works please go through the video which is there in the description box and then after watching that video you will have clear about this seven segment configuration working principle whatever right so please watch that video so here i am directly using the array okay so i have this array so i have this array i'm using this array as it is right And these are the different values for different digits. So this is for 0, this is for 1, this is for 2. And again, these values are for common anode. So if you have a common cathode device, then this value will be different. Okay. And now in while 1, I will directly write instruction to generate different pattern on these pins. Now, since we want to write simultaneously different values on this pin, so we will not use toggle or uh, write function, but we will use a register. So register's name is GPIO A and register name is ODR. Okay. So here you can see this is the register. Okay. So you have to use output data register and here you can write a 16 bit value okay because in port a you can see we have pa0 to pa15 so here you can write 16 bit value but since we are using only seven lower bits so we will directly write 
uh, 8 bit values only right because here we are using 8 bit value so for understanding purpose let us write ff and 00 on this pin with some delay okay and here we will write 00, zero. now let us build that our code Oh, I think some. Oh, yes, the spelling really right. Now rebuild the target. And here you can see zero error. So now let us release this. And you have to generate hex file so you have to select this option in post build convert hex file apply and again release the target and in release folder you should have this hex file right now just copy this path of this release folder And load this on our circuit okay and now just run it and since we are writing ff and 00, zero so you can see we have this type of output so since this is common anode so for ff it will turn off all the segment and for 00, zero it will turn on all the segment right and now we will simply pass our array element by element in this GPIO ODR register and we will see we will check what is the output right so and again uh, we have to pass this value one by one so for that I will use for loop so let us create one integer when variable and uh, we will going to use this in a for loop okay so let us use it for j is equal to zero j less than 10 because we have 10 elements so from 0 to 9 right and j plus plus so increment of 1 now let us pass this array one by one so our array's name is test and test of j so first it will pass test of 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and since this is in while one loop so it will continuously pass this again and again and that's why we have this counter from 0 to 9 0 to 9 and once again if you want to learn how to generate this value then please watch the video which is there in the description right and come again in this video and you will have clear about this working principle of seven segment now let us run this code so x file will be there same okay it will update automatically and now run this code oh sorry i have to release the target again right this is updated file now run the code and you can see you have this counter right and you can change this delay okay if you want to change so simply change in this 500 rebuild the target and just run it again and you you will see that now it will count fast compared to our previous code because now the delay between two digit is 500 millisecond so this is how you can create this counter on single digit 7 segment so this is what for today's video if you like my work then 
प्लीज लाइक माई YouTube वीडियोज एंड सब्सक्राइब माई YouTube चैनल थैंक यू वेरी मच